Here are the materials that I use to make my stilt. PVC pipe in 4, 3, and 1 inch, 4 bolts, 8 nuts, elastic, and duct tape. Some tools you will need are a table saw or some other type of saw, a drill, different drill bits, measuring tape, pencil, scissors, a hammer, and a knife. Here are some measurements for the stilts. The green measurements are for the length of each piece. The blue are for the slits for the elastic, and the red are for the edges that get cut off. The drill holes are for the nuts and bolts. You're going to start by measuring and marking all of your pieces. Then cut out your piece's green measurement, then the red, and finally the blue. Be sure to add some extra length to the green measurement for your feet because they need to be cut at an angle. After you are done with the saw, you need to drill holes for your nuts and bolts and the holes for the 1 inch PVC pipe that will serve as your handles. Handle measurement will vary depending on your height and the length of your arms. Next, you need to put in the nuts and bolts in the handles. When putting in the bolts, you are going to start with the upper arm and connector pieces. Try to keep them lined up in the center, then add two nuts for each bolt. Tighten the bolts, then test to see if they are loose enough to let the pieces move. Then, do the same for the feet pieces. When putting in the handles, make sure that the holes are slightly bigger than the pipe, but not so loose that they move around. After you have the PVC pipe in, check to make sure that you like where the handles are and that your hands are fairly comfortable. If you have large hands, you may need 5 inch PVC pipe instead of 4. Then duct tape around the 4 inch PVC pipe where the handle is to secure it. The last thing is the elastic. Take your elastic and thread it through the upper arm slit, then tie a good sized knot. Two to three times should be good enough to make sure that it doesn't untie fall out of the slit, or is too big that it doesn't fit in between the pipes or causes problem with movement. Then do the same with the other end and thread it through the feet. Before tying it off, you want to make sure that it is nice and taut. Adjust the tightness until the feet sort of snap up after being picked up off the ground. Then tie off the end and cut off the excess. Now you are ready to make your stilts a little more comfortable. PVC pipe can be very sharp, so to keep your arms from being cut up, you need to cover them. To do this, you are going to need your stilts, some fleece, and a hot glue gun and glue stick. First, you need to measure out how much fleece you need. The easiest way is to lay out your fleece and then use your stilt to measure out a piece. Always add an extra inch or two just in case. After you cut out your fabric, set aside the rest and lay a piece out. Set your stilt in the middle of the fleece, with about 4 inches above it. Then use the hot glue to secure it, while being careful not to burn yourself. Continue gluing until the entire piece is securely attached. Then trim off any excess, not the part that goes inside the pipe. Then you need to carefully glue the rest to the inside of the pipe. Then once your glue is dry, you have a stilt that won't cut into you. And you are now ready to begin detailing work on your stilts which we will continue in the next video.